everyone. Um, apologies about my wet hair, but I've just had a shower and I'm just wearing my boyfriend's jumper just because it's warm and comfortable. But I just wanted to make um, a video while Isabel was still taking her nap on how I entertain her if we're stuck at home, if it's raining outside or I've got to stay in for a delivery or something like that. So I've got most of these ideas off Pinterest, so if you haven't got Pinterest I would recommend going on there because there's just tons of really good stuff that you can do um, at home with your toddler. So the first thing is um, making your own Play-Doh and if you've got like an older toddler, um, like older than as well, like three or four, they can like help you make it as well. Um, Isabel didn't do that, she just played with it after we've made it, but um, it's really easy <clears throat> and simple to make and also if your child is still like prone to putting things in their mouth, at least you know homemade Play-Doh isn't like toxic or anything, it's all like edible stuff, but I doubt they would want to actually eat it because it tastes horrible, I've tried it. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> the ingredients you need for that is literally one tablespoon of oil, so like vegetable oil, which most people would have in their cupboards, one cup of salt, half a cup of water, two cups of plain flour, and then uh, the food food colourings of the colour that you want the Play-Doh to be. So I used red and blue, and I got these literally from Aldi for like 40p each or cheaper probably just got it all over my hand now um and yeah basically you just mix the salt and flour together um if you want to make more than two more than one color which i did um you can split the uh water into two separate little bowls and um then pour your food colorings into each bowl and the uh, split the one tablespoon of oil between the two bowls um, mix the flour and the cup of salt in a separate bowl, just mix it all together and then add half of the flour and salt mixture into one colour and the same with the other, just mix it up. You don't need to bake it at all, if you just stir those all together, like and sort of like knead it like you would bread, then it makes Play-Doh and it's really simple and easy. I've only done it once. So I need to do that again because that one's dried up now and I've chucked it away. But yeah, that would be a good activity to do with an older or a younger one as well. And I will insert some pictures of Isabel with the Play-Doh. Um, and then another one that we also did was, I'm um, not sure if you've heard of this one already, it's Cloud Fluff and basically it's just like homemade sand but all it is is one cup of oil to eight cups of flour and then mix that together and you can sort of like, once it's all mixed it can be like sculptured into, you know, like if you had a sand bucket it would stay its shape because of the oil that's mixed in there. So um, yeah, she liked that one and then um, she liked sweeping it up afterwards because it does get messy. So if you've got a laminate flooring like I have, that's a good one for that because it's really easy to clean up and you can get your toddler to help you clean it up as well, which the well, kid doesn't love to sweep. So I will show you Isabel playing with her cloud fluff. No, in there, look. Oh, no. <laughs> Yay, good girl. Mm, no. You cleaning up your mess? Good girl. Better sweep it up.
good one is if you get um, a food lock bag like this with the locky thing by there. These were literally from Poundland for 15 bags. So again, really cheap and you might already have these bags in your house for like packed lunches and things. So um, yeah, literally just take one of these bags and then I just had some paint, so there's six colours in here, so if you put like some of the colours in there and then um, if you stick it to like a um, window or if you've got like a glass door and the, si the sun like can shine through it, they can use their fingers to just like mix all the paints up as well and it's good for babies for like sensory development and um, also if you've got like a slightly older toddler you can teach them like how the different primary colours will make another colour and things like that so that was a good little one to do as well at home and I will show you Isabel having some fun with that Again, um, another activity for um, maybe a slight, slightly younger toddler who is still um, put, like prone to putting things in their mouth because um, I think Isabel would still try to put these like real paints in her mouth at the minute. So um, what I done is if you just get some natural yogurt, like any kind, like the cheapest one you can get. Um, I just got like a Tesco's one I think which is less than a pound um, and then if you mix some of that yoghurt with food colouring so I had the red and the blue already so I made red and blue like edible paint and then she just used like normal paint brushes to paint on the paper and as I thought she would do she did put, the, put it in her mouth so I'm glad I tried that one before the real paint. So, and um, yeah, you can put them back in the fridge then and keep them basically as long as the yoghurt stays fresh. So, whatever it recommends on the tub and you can keep using them, then just chuck them away. Um, so, yeah, that was a fun little one that she enjoyed. Um, I would advise you to do it after lunch because I made the mistake of trying this with Isabel, like, just before her lunch and she eats that kind of yogurt anyway that's why I already had it in the fridge and so yeah she just wanted to eat it basically but yeah that was all part of the fun so I will show you that now you painting yay that's fun ah uh, knew you'd do that it's yogurt for painting, not for eating. <laughs> Look. And um, another just nice easy one, if you don't want to use these paints yet because they're a bit messy, even though that they are washable, these are, but this um, like paint pad thing is just a lot easier, the lid just, pops off and then they can like do finger paints by just putting their hands in and put it straight on the paper and also I just got these like little stampers with all different like uh, things on them so they can stamp them in the paint and then on the paper and it's just it's a really quick and easy activity to do if you're bored and then um, it's this is also washable so it's really easy to clean up afterwards so um, these blocks were from Poundland for three and um, I got this from Hobbycraft, can't quite remember how much it was, about £4 I think, a little bit expensive but yeah it's worth it and this it stays, the paint stays wet for ages, I've had this a while and it's still usable so yeah that is a good one also so I will show you that. Then 
lastly, if you've got like an old tub laying around, so this is just an old chocolate tub, I've just put a small hole in the top. And then inside is just a load of cotton buds, which I've had since she was newborn and I've barely used them for anything. So <clears throat> I just thought I'd use them for this and basically she can just thread them through there. And then obviously like open them and take them out again, do the same. So yeah, that's just a nice, easy, cheap and fun one for her to do. And that one? So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found some of these uh, ideas helpful for you, um, as did I. But, yeah, uh, definitely head over um, to Pinterest and check out um, all the stuff that's on there. There's tons on there, and that's where I get all my, like, inspirations from, really, as well as YouTube. So, yeah, thank you for watching again. And um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.